Hello, now this is going to be a video testing how our different types of body armour stop beta radiation. So this is probably a really stupid idea for a video because I'm going to irradiate myself. Now technically yes, it would be possible to take the body armour off, put the probe on the inside, um, I'm going to use the SOX 01M for this because it's pretty good for measuring beta radiation and it's pretty compact. Um, and you know, I could do it that way and put the radiation source on the outside, but I'm, I, it's easier just for me to do it while wearing it. So, what we're going to do is the Geiger counter will face inwards on all the armors like that, against me. Um, and then what I'll do is I will get my beta source, which is strontium-90, and this is why it's kind of a stupid idea, because I'm doing it with strontium-90 because it's strong, rather than something like Fiesta wear. Um, and the other thing with strontium-90 is it only gives off beta radiation, as far as I'm aware. It definitely doesn't give off gamma. Um, and alpha can be stopped by a sheet of paper. So the only thing penetrating will be beta radiation. So the point of this will be to see what kinds of body armour might cut down the amount of beta radiation to get through completely, what you know might reduce your exposure, and what would do almost nothing at all. Um, so what we're going to do is get the strontium-90. So here we are, strontium-90 is a product of nuclear fission, so it's found in Fallout. As you can see, nice radioactive symbol in there. So to give you an idea, background radiation in here is about 0 0.11. Um, it's probably uh, millisieverts, isn't it, this uses? And as you can see, I've got the dose counter there. So you'll hear this start ticking when it gets exposed to radiation. Now, notice the interesting thing is with the strontium. I'll just put it on the searching mode. When it's behind this cover, it does block most of the radiation coming through. You can see it is higher on there but it's not crazy. As soon as I take this cover off, hear that? Yeah, there we go. Right, so we're ready for the test. So what we're going to do is we'll just have a look at what our dose is, and it says I'm at 0 0.31 now. So let's do the first one. So first one is British Army um, flak jacket. So what I'm going to do is just tuck the uh, Geiger under my um, stomach there. Right, that's in. I'll just push it up a little bit further, and then we'll put the strontium here. And I can't hear it ticking, so I think it's doing its job. That's pretty good. Right, let's see. Yep. Yeah, that was definitely uh, blocking it, so... There you go. That was the period when I had it exposed to the armour. As you can see, it's flat. So, the flat jacket seems to work. And we'll just double check this by doing this. So, we'll put that here. And we'll put the Geiger counter here. Yes. The British Army flat jacket and should apply to pretty much all ballistic nylon flat jackets, is thick enough that the beta radiation can't get through. So let's score one for that. So, you know, as I said, that's pretty impressive. So, Armour 1 has been tested. We have tested the flat jacket, and it turns out British Army Northern, you know, Ireland Mark 1 Fragmentation Vest, if you want to give it its proper name. You know, Mark 1 Fragmentation Vests. Uh, are actually pretty damn good at stopping beta radiation, which I didn't really expect, but there we go. So if you've got an old flak jacket, as much as ballistic nylon isn't very practical um, against, let's say, um, you know, firearms and high-velocity shrapnel compared to Kevlar, it does stop beta radiation pretty damn well, and that was from Strontium-90. Okay, so next up what we've got is the standard British police issue, although they have several different models. Um, sort of stab resistant and bullet resistant vest. These vests, um, I've talked about them before, they're really bloody good vests if you get them second hand off eBay for a good price and good condition. My particular vest was about, um, i just do the Kevlar bit at the back up properly, I think it was about £45 or something when I got this. Now, if you actually buy these new, because I did find a supplier's website that makes these, Depending on what uh, filler you have in the vest, they're high 300s to low 400 pounds. Because this one's got level 3A Kevlar in, um, and, you know, the anti-stab layer in it, this would probably be one of the 400 pound models. Obviously, second hand it's not as good as getting it brand new, but, you know, literally 10% of the price is pretty damn good. So, here we go again. So, I'm going to put the Geiger about here, and that's definitely behind the Kevlar. You can see the bulk of it there. And now let's get out the strontium and see what happens. And again, I can't hear the Geiger ticking. So I think... Yep, as soon as... That's pretty funny. So yeah, when the Geiger's there, it's not really ticking all that much. The moment it gets to here, it starts ticking a lot more. So yep, 
it turns out, and I'll just take this off to demonstrate this again, that if we get one of these police vests, we put the strontium here, and we put this here. Oh, it is actually penetrating slightly. Let's have a look. When it's directly across from the strontium, it does get a reading, but it seems this mitigates it quite a bit. So it's telling me that's high. If the jet... Oh, now it's gone to dangerous. I was going to say that. But that's still much lower just to show you than if you didn't have the vest on. So if we look at the spikes there, where it says about 11, where um, 1.72, if I just take that away and put that there, I'm not holding it directly across from the strontium, uh, like directly against it. I've got a bit of distance there because obviously what I want to do is, um, you know, show you the difference. If you look at numbers we're getting now, 214 for example on the Geiger, and then I put that back here and put that against the Kevlar at a roughly similar distance. Although it's ticking, this does massively cut down. And it might make a difference what kind of stab and bullet resistant layers you had in this. But the point I'm making is, at least with this, if you had this on, you would your vital organs under this would be massively less damaged by beta radiation than if you didn't have one on, if there was some sort of fission that happened. Um, so yeah. Turns out lightweight modern sort of police vests do do a good job of cutting down the amount of beta radiation. Um, and again, I think the ones that probably have steel plates in for the stab layer, you know, the spike resistant ones, which are the better ones than this, because this is just knife resistance one, because um, you get knife and spike resistance, the higher the numbers the better. So ideally, like kni uh, knife two, spike two would be very good, but this is just knife one, you know, plus the uh, Kevlar for the ballistic protection. If you had one that had spike protection, I imagine that would cut down more on the beta radiation because often they have steel plates in them, um, you know, like very thin steel discs sort of sewn together. So that, the steel should stop the beta completely, you know, combined with the other stuff. So, okay, what we've learnt so far then is the British Army Northern Ireland flat jackets, they're pretty damn good at stopping beta radiation. These certainly cut down a lot on it, and depending on the model of vest, it might be better or worse, but this is better than I was expecting of this vest. Right, so now let's go for the British ECBA armour, because I'm very interested in seeing what the ceramic plates in that do, plus the Kevlar. So, now we've got the British Army Enhanced Combat Body Armour. The ECBA has a Kevlar filler, which is probably level 2 or 3A, and it has ceramic plates. Now the ceramic plates in this are very good, they're designed to stop 7.62 NATO rounds apparently. So, you know, they're very hefty. And there is a ceramic plate in this, which covers your heart and one of your lungs, and heart and one of your lungs on the back. So, my f what I'm going to think is hap going to happen is I reckon the Kevlar in this will be not as efficient as the police one, because there's less to it, um, at stopping the beta rays. But I reckon the uh, ceramic plate will stop it completely. So what we're going to do first is go back to the searching mode. Right, and then I'm going to pop this behind me here. Make sure it's the right way around. Right, so that is there. So, what I'm going to do now... Let's put that there. And at the moment... Yep, it's ticking. Don't know if you can hear that. It's definitely getting through the Kevlar. So let's look at... Yep, that's a lot higher than it was with the police vest. Now, for the bit I think is definitely going to work, if I can find a way, I'll probably have to open the bit, to be honest. Right. Now for the ceramic plate, um, and the bit there. So what I'll do is I'll put the Geiger here, and you'll be able to actually see this on the screen. The camera even. And I'll put that there. And yes, by the look of it, the two things combined completely stop the radiation. Let's try the ceramic plate just on its own, because that interests me. Obviously, if you had a plate carrier with bigger plates, that would be even more of an advantage. So, we'll do it the way it's meant to be worn. So, this side away from body. So, that can go on that side, the Geiger. And then what we'll do is put the strontium... I don't know why I keep wanting to say it with a funny accent like that. Put the strontium there. As you can see, I think there's an ever so tiny bit of beta getting through the ceramic, but not very much at all. So yeah, I am pretty certain, combined with the um, 
vest where you've got a bit of material and the Kevlar, that would cut it down completely because this is pretty much totally eliminating all of the uh, baits coming through. It's maybe like one or two percent higher than um, background levels, but that's it. So yeah, turns out these panels are very good at stopping beta radiation, as you'd expect because they're big ceramic panels designed to stop bullets. Right, so we've got one more armour to test, and that's going to be that Polish body armour with the steel or titanium plates in it. Because I'm very interested in seeing, um, you know, just how good that is at uh, blocking radiation. So, we'll do that now. Right, so here's the Polish body armour. I think this is called the OLV, although some people in the comments on the video on it said this isn't the OLV, it's another one. But, whatever, it's Polish body armour, which I guess is from the 90s, judging by the camo pattern on it. So, what we're going to do is the same test again. So, let's put this, if I can somehow manage it, um, in the armour, because this is going to be a bit difficult with a massive kind of uh, plate carrier type thing. So if I get it in, because obviously this arm's designed so most of your body is covered. So, right, that is now behind the steel plate, or titanium plate, whatever it is. Ooh, difficult to get down. And then, let's do this. So, I can't hear it ticking at all, can you? I can obviously check it in a minute, but as far as I can tell, that steel plate is fully blocking the beta, which is kind of what you'd expect. Um, I'm just moving this around under there in case it suddenly starts ticking. But yeah, that's doing that. Right, let me just put this strontium a bit higher now. I'll put it there, and then we'll try it through there. The Kevlar is thick enough in here, it seems, it does block a lot of the um, strontium. Because, yeah, as soon as I move that way. So what I'll do now is, just to test it with the Kevlar, here is the groin protector from this armour. So what we'll do, I'm not going to put this on and irradiate my balls, because I really don't want to um, have them fall off. So what we're going to do is put this over the strontium, then put this here, and do we get a reading? It's coming through, but how strong is it? It certainly cuts down on it a lot. Yeah, okay, if you look at the spikes on there, the big red spike is when it was next to the strontium when there was no armour, and that's that. So that is cutting down on it massively. And obviously if you're a bit further away from the source of the radiation, then it's definitely lost its energy by that point. But just to prove to you that this is obviously cutting down on it, if I move that out of the way and put that there, hear the speed? If you watch the green bar going up, 106, then put that there again. Yep, much slower in terms of, um, I think that's just the refresh thing, the green bar. But yeah, if you look at the little yellow bit, yellow is very low. Put that there again, when the green bar goes up. Yeah, and it's yellow and red on that little indicator at the top. So, yes. Right, now, let's just do a quick test with one of the plates from out of this. So, we'll get the plate section open, which is this one. Let me put the guy account down a second. I can get this out. If I can get all this up properly. It's quite hard when you put the arm on something. There we go. So, you've got the steel or whatever it is, and then behind it you've got like a bit of foam. So apparently these with the armour stop 762 by 39 mm rounds, like what the AK fires. So what we'll do is put this flush against the lid again, as flush as it will go. There we go, with the strontium in it. And then we will put the Geiger counter here. And yep, this plate totally cuts down any radiation coming through, as you can hopefully see. Because I'm looking there, and I can definitely see from the side that, I don't know if this will be visible on the camera, the strontium source is there. Um, the Geiger counters over it, but yeah, that is totally cutting down on all the radiation coming through. So there you go. Hopefully this video has been interesting, but the point it proves is that not against gamma, but against obviously alpha and beta radiation, pretty much every body armour will cut down the amount coming through. And it seems, you know, trauma plates are very good at pretty much cancelling all of it, especially the steel ones. But you'd expect that because steel can be used to block beta radiation. But ceramics are pretty good as well. And you know, stab proof vests would do it to a degree as well. Old flak jackets work, I think, just because they're quite thick because it was an inefficient ballistic material. So they had to put a lot more of it in there. So a lot more padding, a lot more, you know, to get in the way of the beta. But yeah, 
hopefully this has been a bit interesting video for you. So the armor and strontium were sent to me by Beastor, so check him out on eBay, big thanks to him for sending it. He doesn't obviously sell strontium to people, he just sent me some so I could do tests with it in videos, because um, strontium is quite scary stuff, and obviously I'm being irresponsible with it now, going let's irradiate myself, because um, it's about 1.25 Ronkin per hour, uh, what it gives off. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this video interesting, and he does have these body armors for sale by the way, but yeah, what I have learnt today at least is that pretty much all body armor will cut down quite significantly on the amount of beta radiation coming through. The, you know, better or thicker the armor, or, you know, trauma plates will do it even more. But, you know, so now you know, if there's a nuclear accident and you had body armor on, it is going to do quite a good job at cutting down the amount of damage being done to your organs and things like that. But again, bear in mind, this isn't gamma or x-rays, this is beta. Gamma and x-rays can pretty much only be stopped by lead and the amount of lead you'd have to wear for armor would be pretty impractical. Whether or not you could get a lead sheet and put it in the plate carriers on these, that might actually work quite well. But then I guess you're just kind of making Chernobyl liquidator armor at that point. But there you go. Turns out regular body armor that you might be using for some sort of shit hits the fan thing or EDC would actually um, significantly stop your vital organs being damaged by all your skin from being hit by beta.